Hello everyone, my name is Nari Sol and I've been making videos at the piano covering topics related to practicing, performance, and composition. Today I'd like to show you my setup and share with you some tips I have on filming the keyboard with an overhead angle. The camera that I use is a Nikon D750 with a 20mm f2.8 manual lens. For capturing audio, I usually use a Rode Video Micro, which is recording the sound right now, or I use a Zoom H5. If I'm using a digital keyboard, so far I've been using the sounds from Logic Pro X, but I plan to upgrade this very soon. So finding the right camera for this setup is actually the easiest part. You can choose to go with a DSLR, a mirrorless, both with full or cropped sensors, or any other camera that supports a high enough resolution and that supports the use of a wide angle lens. So if your camera has a full frame sensor, I recommend something wider than 24 millimeters. If you have a crop sensor, somewhere in the range between 10 to 18 millimeters is perfect. The most important part of the setup is to figure out how to mount the tripod. The tripod that I use is made by KNF Concept and it allows me to extend the arm at a 90 degree angle. So basically it extends upwards and bends to the side. So this part of the tripod is extremely important because it allows me to extend the camera so that it's hanging directly over the keyboard. To handle the weight of the DSLR camera, I use a counterweight. What I do is I take a neoprene lens cover, any sort of pouch will do, and a five to eight pound dumbbell. So I just put it in and make sure it's secure. And using this cloth handle, I'll hang it onto the tripod. So here's some footage of me setting up from scratch. Because I'm constantly moving my setup from piano to piano, it's very important for me to keep things very portable and practical. To keep things efficient, I have markings on each of the tripod legs, which indicate how long I should extend them. I put two legs on the music stand and one leg onto the closed lid towards the back. So even though this setup is more practical than say a ceiling mount or some sort of massive heavy duty crane tripod that extends overhead, it's still fancier than normal. So that being said, I'd like to explore ways to recreate this setup using different cameras and different tripods. First off, let's try this with my phone, which is an LG G5. Now this has a wide angle camera, which is why I chose to use this phone in the first place. I understand that most phones don't have this capability, but with most phones, you can also buy an attachment, which turns the camera lens into something more wide. To mount the phone onto the tripod, I'm using this gadget by Ulanzi. There are many products similar to this, but this is just the one I had on hand. I first set this up onto the normal tripod that I use, and here's some footage directly from the phone. Next, I mounted it onto a more ordinary tripod, one that doesn't have a 90 degree extension. Here's some footage with that setup. So I actually just have the tripod on the short sticks on this keyboard right here. So you can probably recreate this on a grand piano as well. The only thing with this setup is that the audio from the phone is not so great, but that can be easily fixed by using a separate audio device to capture the sound and syncing it in post. Next up is a Logitech webcam. So the focal length of this webcam is definitely wider than most others, but I still had to push my tripod up very high in order to capture the whole keyboard. This is okay though, because the webcam is extremely light. A lot of things can be slightly improved with video editing. Here's an example of that with the webcam footage. So this is, so it's not bad, it's passable. By the way, I forgot to mention, if you're using a tripod like this, which I described as being very ordinary, it will have a ball head like this. So it, you can rotate it any way you want. But most tripods actually don't have this. If it doesn't, then consider 
getting this. You can probably get it for a few bucks on Amazon or eBay and it essentially screws on to the top of the tripod and allows you to have that full ball movement. And there are various degrees of how fancy you can get with these ball mounts, but this super important. So that's it for the setup and this video. Please let me know in the comments if you found this useful or if you've tried something similar to this before or if you already have a better solution. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.